Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys can see, we're joined with a very special guest for today. Hey, Iggy. Iggy Azalea. Oh my God, you guys, we are here in Atlanta working on a very special project. Yes. A good little Sally Walker moment. Which we'll talk really, about the project the is Make Me Prettier. That's the real <laughs> project. He just doesn't know. Okay, right, cool. Down. Yeah. So a few weeks ago on Twitter, mm -hmm. I woke up and you had tweeted, James Charles doing a makeup challenge. Because I got, I've been on a lot of like long haul flights lately for okay. 10, 15 hours. And so I've started to watch videos on YouTube and okay. I just kind of got in this rabbit hole of watching your videos. And I was like, everybody looks so pretty when James does their makeup. Oh my God, I love that. I Thank wonder you. if I would look that pretty. Yes. If he did my makeup, like yes, I really wanna know. Answer. And that's why I said like, James Charles do my makeup challenge. Yeah. I was on the plane like, I just want to know what I look like the video. <laughs> That's so cool. And, and I slid I felt into like the DMs. I, I felt like I did. Yeah, yeah, you really messaged me. I slid into the DMs. I was like, girl, let's do it. Because I love you. I love your music. I think you're so Thank cool. You. We're going to talk about so many things in today's video. But we're currently here on set because for today, we're actually shooting Iggy's album cover yes. photo. So I'm doing the makeup for it. Kind mm -hmm. of fun, kind of funky, kind of fresh. Um, we have a very beautiful look planned. So without further ado, should we just jump right into this glam yes, makeover should. on Sister Iggy Azalea? <laughs> So I'm just gonna start off with a little bit of foundation that we're going to get a little concoction going. Oh my God, I am so excited that we're here today. This photo shoot is going to be so much fun. And the music video shoot already yesterday was, it was such crazy. a good time. The thing that was my favorite thing about the video yesterday and about this look that we're about to do today yes. is that it's new for me because I'm always so afraid of wearing eyeshadow because I feel like I have not a lot of like lid space between my kind of like crease, is that yeah, what you call it? Yeah. I don't know, like You do have terms. small lids, but you yeah, have a okay, lot of space between space. your actual eye and brow. Like whenever I'm watching makeup tutorials, I always feel like they do like a cut crease or things that happen on the lid. And then I think, well, I can't do that because I don't have that much lid space space so I don't really wear a lot of like colorful eyeshadow looks or things like that even though I really like them when yeah. I see them in pictures I see the picture and I think like well I won't look like that when I wear it because of my eyelid right that's what I feel about it but okay. then you did it yesterday I was like you know what I'm just gonna trust him yeah. if you say it can happen I believe you yeah. and we did like a full-on smoky big red eye super yeah. dramatic and I loved it I ended up getting so many compliments on this little picture that I posted. Yeah, you couldn't even see the makeup on it and people were already commenting be like, oh my God, she's wearing eyeshadow. And this then is I was so like, cool. oh my God, am I an eyeshadow girl now? Yes. I think I'm an eyeshadow girl yes, now. Yeah, definitely. so you've changed me. Oh my forever. God, I love that. You've left your mark on me, James. Oh, I'm so glad already. already. I'll never be the same again. So we're here in Atlanta together for the Sally Walker shoot, which yes. is your new song that mm -hmm. is for when this video comes out going out in a week from today. Week from now. Today. Yes. Exciting. Because you post on Fridays, right? Yes. So next Friday. So it'll be out next Friday from this video. It's honestly, you guys, such a buff. Literally, when we were on set yesterday, I was singing it all day long, like just <laughs> buffing in my head. It was stuck in my head. Do you want to talk a little bit about Sally Walker and what the song kind of entails? Like a little sister sneak peek before it comes out? Whenever people hear the song and I would play it for them, they'd always say to me like, this is a strip club oh, this is a twerk anthem. Like, this is gonna go crazy in the strip club. And it, I think probably would, by yeah. the way. Obviously, I love twerking, but I just felt like that was too obvious. I really wanted to do something unexpected and not twerk. Yeah. And not anything that you would hear and think that it was. Yeah. Which, I'm like, somebody a bitch dying. Yeah. You would not think You would not think be somebody's bad. gonna die. No, kind of but fun. then make it Mean Girls, yeah. because I love Mean Girls. Yeah. It's such a fun concept and it was so fun even just being on set with you yesterday and working with the entire team. Like just the concepts and everything was so dope. The thing that I love about music videos because I always do my own concept, but I have been working with Colin who did the Sally Walker video with us yesterday for two videos now. This is our third together. Okay. And he just like adds the coolest little details that nobody would ever think about to the video that I'll get there on the day and be like, this guy thought about every everything. little Thing. Yeah. Yesterday I saw they had the wreaths for your funeral home. Yes. And he had actually got the wreaths made with the little sister sleigh, sister That's so simple. Dope. And I'm like, you know, I didn't tell him to do that. That wasn't my idea. He just he takes just, whatever your idea is and he just like runs. makes it a whole universe where every little 
attention That's to so detail cool. is taken care of and it makes it feel so real. Yeah. Yesterday was my first time ever actually being on a music video really? set before. Yeah. I don't know why, but it was so cool to like, I would watch not the have process. thought that. I know, me either. Well, I really want to get into music myself one day, but it was my I first time. I can't believe that was your first time on a music video. Set. Yeah, it was a really fun one too. Well, the budgets aren't always that big. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that now. I'm just thankful. <laughs> I'm just thankful we actually got there in the first place. Me too. Oh. oh my god, I was freaking out because I get a text message at like 11 o'clock like at, at night. Yeah, late, saying that he's stuck in a storm in New York. So we were traveling in New York because I just did Good Morning America, which was so much fun, and had a few meetings and film with Nightline. And I did that entire day in New York on two hours of sleep. Right. So my manager and I were. We finally got to the airport to head here to Atlanta because the shoot was the next morning. And after waiting in the airport for six hours of flight delays, we finally got a notification that it was canceled at almost midnight. And I called Iggy and Iggy's like, no, we're putting you on a car right now to get you to Washington. And then we're gonna get a private jet from Washington to Atlanta. And I was like, as long as I get to sleep, I'm okay. <laughs> and it was so crazy. To make matters even worse, literally after a four hour car ride, we get to the airport and I'm like, hi, we're checking in for our 6.30 flight to Atlanta. And she's Took like, to the wrong oh, that flight isn't flying out of this airport. And I was like, <laughs> What do you mean? What do you mean it's not flying out of this airport? It's like, oh, that's actually at the other Washington airport that's yeah. 40 minutes away. Yeah, so lo and behold, good. we get to the other airport and guess who missed the flight? This one. So it was a really okay. bad few hours. But, but guess here, what? I had makeup. It was on my face. Yeah. It looked really good. <laughs> it looked amazing. So it's, yes. oh, it all worked out. I knew how to get you out of there, though, because I've been stuck in New York in crazy storms like, yeah. so many times. Like hurricane levels where there's not even power in the buildings. And I'm like, we're getting out of here. Let's go. That's always me and my entire team. We're like, I don't understand the issue. Get us we out. are from New York. So yeah. I'm sure you know. I grew up goes. in New York, so I avoid traveling to New York at all costs. And I probably would not have even went. If it weren't for this shoot after. That's funny so because- that made it even worse. I'm, like, that I way, I'm that way about Australia a little bit, but I do like Australia where I'm from. A lot of people think that I hate it. I don't, I like it, but I never, I don't really like to go back. I like it's going, just not for me yeah, full time. Yeah. Like I would love to take a vacation there. I would recommend anybody go and visit. I I've really like it. And it's my favorite place on earth. Yeah, it's really nice. The food's really fresh. So good. Weather's beautiful in summer. The best. It's pretty clean. I like I like a lot of the beaches are great. My family live there. But I would just never be able to live there because it's too slow paced for me. Yeah. And it's not ridiculous enough. <laughs> but you did grow up there in Australia. Mm -hmm. When did you move to the US? When I was 16. Oh, wow, love that. Okay. Yeah, so, so we've been here a long time. Were you already bitch, no. doing music when you were... Trying, yes. Okay, okay, cool. So was it hard to... Because I feel like not a lot of people for some reason, like, I don't know that many people that made it big from Australia. So I'm sure it made a lot of sense for you to move to LA and pursue music Well, I moved there. to Miami. First? Yeah, and then okay. I lived in Houston for a little while, less than a year. Didn't like that one. Okay. And then I lived in Atlanta, where we are now for yeah. like two or three years. And then I moved to LA, where okay. I ended up living for a long time. Before. Yeah. Now I moved back here, but I've been all around. LA was kind of like right when I was on the brink of about to get signed. Yeah. And I had somebody that worked at a major record label hit me up on YouTube, where I used to oh, upload wow. my music and stuff. And um, he was like, so I'm a totally legitimate person that works at a record label. I'm dating this girl who's a flight attendant who's from Australia. And I asked her, who is she into? Cause she's a big fan of music that yeah. isn't signed. He was an A&R and randomly this girl that I don't know a day in my life she said that she liked my music and she liked to watch my music on YouTube. And so he messaged me off there. And That's I ended so up moving cool. to LA. Yeah, he was like, I'm an A&R. And he legitimately was. And I was like, I don't really believe this person. Yeah, always. At all. And he flew out to Atlanta, like totally legit. Um, he worked for Interscope. I wasn't good enough to get a record deal, but I think he just thought there was something about it that could maybe work. Yeah, he saw and the potential. Yeah, so I went to LA on a trip for a week and I met these producers that I ended up making like Pussy in my first mixtape with later yeah. down the line. And I just like clicked with them straight away. And I was like, you know what? I'm one of those people that just loves to like do crazy spontaneous things. Yeah. Like, let's just do it. Same. That's why I was like, get in the car, James. Yeah, let's go. Let's I, go. I think I always work the same way. Yeah, like I like to do stuff like that. So it appealed to me, even though I was really happy living in Atlanta to be like, this is like a crazy roller coaster. Maybe this could end up being the right thing. So what made you like get into music in the first place? 
Especially like rap too. Well, I don't know why I love rap the most. I guess everybody has their like favorite style. Right. And there's not really much reasoning to why you like what you like in terms of that. I just always liked rap music. I thought it was the, cool, the yeah. coolest. But I like pop music too. But right. I never, I, I can't sing. Okay. But really? I really liked writing music and writing lyrics or writing poetry, stuff like that. So yeah. I was like, well, I can't sing, but I think I can write songs. Yeah. Even though I really, and some people might say I still can't write songs. I think they're pretty good. Hey. <laughs> Enough people like them. So you still do write your own music, right? I write with other people, but yeah, yeah I write on every single song that I've That's super done. dope. On my last album, which was so long ago now, on like pop hooks and stuff like that, which led to yeah. me collaborating with like a lot more like writers in the room where there might be like four or five people and we're trying to think of a big pop hook and then I go and work on my verses and another day, another time without right. that many people here. But this process of this album has been like completely almost like when I would do mixtapes. Like I haven't had maybe two writers the whole time. The majority of the time it's just me and Jay White sitting there with the engineer. He's the producer that's, that's like so done cool. this whole thing. You met him yesterday. Yes. It's so nice. He's the best. When I was signed to a major label and I had one song which was fancy that ended up working that had a pop hook, I just got pushed so much to make more of them. Well, I was gonna ask too, you left your label recently too, with that. Yeah. Are we, can we talk about that? Yeah, we can talk about it. Okay, so that's crazy because like I, obviously we have wanted to pursue music for a little bit. It's like one of my biggest passions. And obviously when you are talented at something, you either have like a label or an agency. Almost everybody has representation in that field. So I thought, mm -hmm. I actually thought it was really cool that you left because I don't yeah. have an agency either. You don't need one anymore. Mm -hmm. No, we're doing A-OK -okay ourselves, I feel like. It's true. But do you want to talk about why that happened and like how has your life and music changed since? I knew that it wasn't a good fit anymore for really the last like two or three years because they just wanted things to still be so pop inclined. Right. And I just didn't feel, I felt like that was very stagnant and not something that I really wanted to kind of do anymore. I just didn't really want to write songs like that anymore. So now that you're gone, you would say you have a lot more freedom to really release the music that you want to. One, I have the freedom to lease whatever I want to. Yeah. But then also I felt like I wanted to be the owner. I didn't want to be the worker. And yeah. being in that deal and signed to a major, for most people, at least for me, it didn't involve me like owning the masters to my music. Right. On top of the fact that I was having to creatively bend in ways I didn't like or right. fight with people and then we don't have a good relationship because I'm always right. like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Right. I don't want to do that. To where it, it's like when you're saying no, 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 no to someone all the time, it's not a good relationship. It's not a good relationship, yeah. So what does your makeup process usually look like? Like how long would you say it takes you to get ready? It takes me about an hour to do my makeup. Same. And then I have to do my hair, which I can't do. I have to call for help for okay. my hair. Okay. But my makeup, I just wear the same thing every single time. Yeah. Ooh, I bought this the other day. The Morphe setting spray? Mm-hmm, because I saw you Jane's using it. Yeah, use Jane's for 10% off. And I off. bought it, <laughs> and it was good. It's so bomb. I like the continuous mist it gives. Yeah. I seriously bought this because of you, James. I, I love that. that. You're a beauty guru in the making. <laughs> Coming for the job. So let me tell you what five colors I feel I can put on my face here. This one. Ring light. Oh, this one. Canvas. This one. Sister. This one. Face. And then this one. Wig. The end. Oh, this one, because I do my eyeliner with it. T. And those are the only colors that I know how to use. Okay. I don't know how to use any of these other colors. It's okay, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, I only know the boring colors. Well, that's kind of the reason why I wanted to create the palette too that has a lot of neutral wearable colors in it alongside of all the rainbow colors too, because yeah. the whole point of the palette is unleashing your inner artist. Everyone has an artist within them, they just have to really find it and figure out what works for them. So the whole point of the palette is that you can buy it no matter what your skill level is of makeup and have every single color in there to create whatever look you want. And two, I like having the more neutral colors mixed in with the rainbow colors. Yeah. So even if you're playing with a more neutral wearable look, maybe you'll see a color and be like, oh, I want to put Maybe. a little pop on today. I want to get inspired. That's so it pushes smart. people to kind of play around. Because if I were going to buy a bunch of eyeshadow, I probably wouldn't buy rainbow because I'd be like, when am I going to wear blue? But it's all here. Right. It. So it makes sense. All right, guys. So we're going to start off Iggy's eyeshadow today. Now, for this look, we wanted to go with a blue yeah. smoke eye, which I am so excited for because on yesterday's set, we did bright red and it was so much fun. It was. It was one of your first times ever actually wearing eyeshadow. And it was literally colored eyeshadow. Colored eyeshadow. Well, and yeah. It was the best. No, I think it really was the first time that I've ever worn like a puppy color. That's so literally, cool. Ever. Like I said, I only people only ever do these colors. Right. I'm so glad that I get to play with this with you today. Okay. So we're gonna go with blue because the set for the album cover is going to be blue. You guys will have seen the photo by the time that this video comes out. So I'm just gonna grab an M four five six brush and dip into cola 
in the bottom little row. And we're going to start packing this on the outer V to form a little wing. See, like, I would be so scared of that. I am scared of that, but it's fine because I trust you. You're in good hands. So you are one of the queens of rap. And you have released so many iconic songs. Thank you. What is it like being a female in such a male-dominated industry? It's awesome. Yeah. Actually. I like it more. Yeah. I think one of the reasons why I wanted to rap was because of that. And it's not because I don't like other girls or anything. I actually love girls. It was because I felt like it was so bad ass to be like, I'm doing a job that a boy does. Right. When I was younger, when I was a teen, I started getting into like writing my own rap songs and having this idea that I wanted to rap and that that's what I wanted to do when I was about 13 or 14. Oh well, so you've known for a for while a long time. Okay, yeah, cool. but it just always really appealed to me because there weren't a lot of women doing that thing. I played soccer when I was a kid, which now a lot more girls play, but back then it was kind of like that too, that was like, this is a boy sport. So right. I wanna like, I wanna do it because I wanna be a strong girl and I wanna be like a badass and I wanna do stuff that you wouldn't think a girl would do. But I was always really girly. I wasn't a tomboy or anything right. like that. I listened to the Spice Girls, but, uh, <laughs> but I just, I don't know, that just appealed to me. So I kind of think I love that, even though I, there's a part of me now as a grown up that thinks like, we should have more women doing this and we should have more representation of different voices or different types of women, you know? Like right. we need that, but there's still that like little kid of me, little part of me, that little girl that's like, I kind of love that I'm one of only a couple of girls that are kind of like, that are killing it. have the balls enough to come and like, hang and do this and take the fact that it isn't easy that there's a lot of guys. Right, I mean, yeah, it's even the same way for me because yeah. I'm a male in a, in a female, in a female dominant yeah. industry, which is also equally as cool. And I have so much respect for my female counterparts, but it's really awesome to be one of the few that have really killed it in the industry. Mm -hmm. And being able to inspire young kids, especially young boys everywhere to like express themselves is like literally my favorite part of the entire job. But I get the same thing. Like I actually just traveled to the UK a few weeks ago and um, this one newscaster was like doing an interview about me talking about how we shut the city down. And literally the whole interview was like, I don't even know who he is. Her co-host was like, well, you do beautiful makeup. You don't know about him. And she's like, no, that's because I take advice from a woman, not a man. But and she does at, like, the she really did have something there. a face? Because if you have a face, then you probably qualify. To take makeup tips. I like, that makes no sense. It was, like, it that's was the so dumbest dumb. thing. Why does it have to be a woman's face? It's so stupid. That's stupid, and, and it, that person's an idiot. <laughs> she is. Do you still deal with a lot of the hate and backlash towards being a woman in the industry all the time? Because I feel like there's always like drama in like the female rap community, but I feel like you do a really good job of staying out of it. I do now. Yeah. I didn't. For me, I felt like the drama for me was always more about the fact that I'm from Australia than me being a girl, but there definitely is that element and like it's an additional layer. There are many layers to the drama. Right. That's what I will say. Having a vagina is just one of many layers. <laughs> okay. Of, of, I love of, that. Hit, of rap drama. Right. I feel like I just couldn't really be bothered. Yeah. To be honest with you, which sounds so cliche. It really does. And it's not even like I think I'm better than it or something necessarily. I think once you get in a position where maybe you're successful or you kind of like understand the inner workings or yeah. motivations of certain stuff, even when it's not my own drama that I'm a part of, I find myself less interested because I don't even know if it's real yep. drama or if it's you, you've got a single coming out next week. And right. a lot of the time yes. I'll get, I or in the past I have gotten invested in whatever the narrative is that I might think is entertaining, not even to pertaining to me. Right. Like, ooh, who's having gossip? What said what to who? And yeah. ooh, I'm in it. I'm reading every article. Like I'm right. on everything. And then it's like you know a music video comes out five days later, and I'm like I'm yeah. literally boo boo the fool right now. Yeah. Like buying into they this. So I don't know, I kind of like feel that I don't really care so much about that anymore or give it my energy as much. But I'll still troll random people online. Like I, I noticed that you definitely do I like do to reply to people on Twitter still? every once in a while. <laughs> but that's different because that's just a little like, <laughs> You're a dumb bitch. Drama aside, is there anybody that you do want to collab with that you really like right now? Well, I kind of want to work with Becky G because one, I think that she's so hot. All of a sudden she's like a woman and I'm like, wow, she's really hot. And two, I was supposed to work with her way back in the day and she sent a song over and everything. Yeah. But she was a teenager then and I didn't do it because I have this thing where I don't really like to work with people that are in that like teen kind of age range yeah. just because my music's always been so like pussy, pussy, vagina, twerk that yeah. it was like, I just don't know how that could translate fit 
together that was why it was not that yeah. I ever thought she wasn't dope like I heard the song and never think and I just was like this is good but I just don't know that this works Iggy who would you say are some of your biggest role models in the music industry or in general I really like Missy Elliott Everybody okay. already knows that. But the reason why I like her is because I just feel like her legacy is so untainted. Like there are a lot of people that are great that I really like or look up to, but in this day and age, I don't like what they're doing or right. I'm not into it or I'm right. not feeling the music or I don't live for the looks right. anymore, but I lived for the old stuff. Like, but Missy Elliott, I kind of just still live for her every day. Okay. So I'm gonna cut your inner corner out just like we did yesterday. I very like, drag pulled out look. Okay. Do we like that? Yes. Okay. Wait, what does this do? So we put that white on your inner corner yesterday and it gave you that, that like the brightness right there, but it also opens up your eyes, making them appear bigger. And since we put it on the inner corner and round it out, it pulls them up more. Yeah. Cause suddenly my eyeballs were bigger. Yeah. Like it looked like I face turned them and was like, uh-huh. Whoop, yep. whoop, but I really didn't. Mm -hmm. That's I all makeup. It. When you're not spending time in the studio, what do you like to do for fun? In my free time, I usually, I ride horses. That's what I really do. Really? Yeah. I think I like to do something that's like active. Yeah. In my free time, instead of being like stuck in the house. Because right. I feel like I spend so much time in my house already, to be honest with you. Kind of need an excuse to get out of my house that's not work related. Right. These eyelashes are way bigger eyelashes than I would ever do, but they're working. A lot of times people will put on a lash that's too big for their eye without trimming it. And if you put it on the outer corner, it can sag your entire eye downwards. So you have to make sure yeah. you trim them to fit and then you can almost like lift it up in the end and that'll give you that snatched See, I always lift my eyelashes up a little bit higher than my actual lash line yep. on the ends. We can definitely do I that. like that. Like it's funny because in my mind, I always watch your videos on YouTube, your tutorials and stuff. And I've thought to myself sometimes like, I, it would be so nice, like James has so many fans. Man, it would be so nice to be like James. Like anything that James does, he has so many retweets and he has, his fans are so crazy. I think nice. everybody like, thinks that way about no other people. He has no controversy, yeah, like, and then like when I'm like, oh, guess what, James is doing my video, I'm so excited. And people are like, ew, why would you do that? And right. I'm like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Maybe everybody's in the same situation. People, just everybody like people is. hate me. Maybe people just hate everybody and everybody hates everybody and everybody's a stupid bitch. Yeah. At, at the end of the day, I think everybody does always have people that aren't gonna like them and aren't gonna support, but it's always important to focus on the people who are loving and are supporting and aren't right. looking for those issues. Because I always say like, when people get mad over stupid stuff and they're like, okay, I'm unfollowing you. I'm like, bye, please go. I wanna focus on the people who are listening to what I have to say and are thinking about what I'm right. having to say. And if I'm talking about something a little bit controversial, they want to do some research and hear more about it instead of just instantly jumping to conclusions that's not somebody that i want following me anyway because it means that they don't have a very good judge of character so Agreed. i feel like you're in the same boat and we'll be a-okay yeah i feel better knowing people hate you too james <laughs> <laughs> i think we look for negativity like in our own lives about people judging us and we notice it more than we notice people being negative towards other people. Yeah. When I'm looking at your videos, I just see all the positive comments yeah. and I don't really notice the negative things because they're not being said about me. So I don't, they don't like resonate with me right. the way somebody's negative comment about me would resonate and bother right. me. I've never even talked to anybody about that before. So that's really cool that you even just said that. Like, it's good to know that at least from the outside perspective, From the looks outside good. looking in, I think you have 5 million fans. Everybody loves you. I don't think people want to write mean stuff about you. I'll be, be like, let me spin how I can make James Charles an asshole. That's, I don't, in my You'd mind. You'd be surprised. All right, we're gonna go ahead and line Iggy's lips using the ColourPop I Love Sadie Lip Liner in Curvy, just for a little nude moment. Something inside me that just wants so badly to be like, <laughs> when you're doing my lipstick. Let's finish our last step, which is going to be to bring back your moles. Please do. I hate when people try to cover up my moles. I love them. I have beauty marks all over my face too and I always try to bring them back. I used to hate all of the little freckles and stuff I had on my face except for these two, but it's because when I was in school, since primary school, kids would always be like, molly, 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 molly. <laughs> about the fact that I have a mole on my chin and I would be like, no. <laughs> so I'd always mole. like, be self-conscious about it, but then I was like, you know what? People draw these on. My mole's gonna be like back here one day. <laughs> when I get old and I get a facelift, it's gonna be like my mole will be back here. Two. Are we ready, Sister Iggy, to do our last up and sister set it in place so you're ready for this photo shoot? I'm ready. Let's do it. Go off. Oh. Little 
little Sally Walker walking down the street. She didn't know what to do, so she jumped in front of me. Little Sally Walker walking down the street. She didn't know what to do, so she jumped in front of me. I said, go on, girl, do your thing. I believe we thing. are done. Oh, can I see? Yes. I haven't even looked at it. Oh, yeah, you haven't even seen it yet. Can we just talk about the fact that I let you do my whole face with makeup and I didn't look in the mirror a That's single trust. time? Let's see. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Yes. You like it? Yes, because the way that you do the makeup, like, this is what I have to... Iggy, I know you're watching. Um, <laughs> watch this tutorial. This is how you want your eyes to do it. You can do it. This is your face, and he did it. Yes. I love the way that you do the shape because it just makes it like my whole cheek and face look snatched. It just yeah. looks like sister snatched. It looks sickening. I'm so glad you like. Yes, it I love this. I'm ready to go have my album cover now. Yay! This is amazing. Well, sisters, thank you so much for watching this video today with me and sister Iggy Azalea. Thank you. thank you so much for coming. On no, channel. thank you for Literally coming. The best time ever. This was such a cool experience, and I'm so excited to work together in the future. Me too. Does that mean you're going to do my makeup again? I'm so excited. Yeah, if you do, me too. I'm just one phone call away. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. It would mean so much to me. And also make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and come join this sisterhood. We are 14 million sisters strong and I'd love to have you join the family. Also make sure to click the bell icon so you can get a notification every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles. My Snapchat for more behind the scenes side stuff is James Charles with an extra S after Charles. Holy crap. <laughs> Where can they find you? Oh my god, that was a rap verse, James. I know, I know. That's why I said I could be a rapper. I speak you so are fast. He just rapped. I can't say it as fast as James, but if you do want to check me out on Instagram, it's at the new classic, not yes. Iggy Azalea. I don't know who that other weird person is. <laughs> Search her on YouTube and also don't forget, next Sally Walker is coming out next week. One this Friday, week from today. next week. One week from right now. Also, if you guys like the hoodie that sister Iggy is wearing and my brand new jumpsuit, you can shop now at sisters-apparel.com. This video is Sister Sadako, Sister Morgan. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. No, I love you literally so, so, so much. And if you'd like to be the next video's Sister Shadow, don't forget to always retweet video links and go live on Twitter and also turn on my YouTube post notifications. <sighs> that is a And I'm going to listen to that in slow motion. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't know. And yeah, I think I'm coming what for your happened? career. I'm becoming a rapper. You just need to get a little beat in there. Just get a drum pad. Yeah, you better watch out, girl. I'm coming. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sisters. Well, thank you so much for watching this video today. Thank you so much to Iggy Azalea for thank coming you. on my channel. No, you're the best. Such an amazing time. And I really I hope too. you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Little Sally Walker walking down the street. She didn't know what to do, so she jumped in front of me. Little Sally Walker walking down the street. She didn't know what to do, so she jumped in front of me. I said, go on, girl, do your thing. Do your thing.